what are key martial concepts that would be essential to any martial practice? Hello everyone, my name is Mark, and today I'm introducing a series uh, that will be inspired by the six principles of training as uh, described by Kondo Katsuki Sensei. Uh, for those who would like to find them in the, the their translated form, you have two options at the moment. You can try to find a copy of this book, Daitoryu Aikijutsu Hiten Mokuroku Ikyajo. It's published by Aiki News. Fortunately, I believe it is out of print right now. The other option, uh, much simpler and cheaper if uh, the only uh, segment that you're interested in is the six principles of training is to go to koryo.com. Uh, the link is in the description below. Uh, there is the uh, portion of the text that is relevant to what we're going to be uh, discussing in the series uh, on that website. It's a website that's managed by uh, Make and Diane Scoss, uh, very well-known uh, people in the Koryo community. The translation itself was written by Derek Steele, who uh, is a longtime practitioner of Tai Tony. Now, the reason why I want to uh, do a review of that content is twofold. Number one, uh, as I've stated uh, in the introduction to this channel, I'm less interested in discussing the technique and elements that are really require context uh, to, to, uh, to, to be discussed properly. And I'm more interested in discussing um, history and in this particular case, princi general principles that, well, should make sense to anyone who is uh, a serious martial art practitioner. Um, this way, you know, hopefully that can become a good platform for, uh, you know, starting and spawning new conversations on those subjects. I personally am a believer in the more more on, into those discussions than into trying to discuss with random people about techniques and you know and and, 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 and principles and especially online where you know you, you lose so much you know if you're speaking to someone directly at least you can have some sense some physical sense of distance you know we're speaking of my and distance you know distance management you can at least if you're in person, you can see it. When it's in a video, it's you know, harder to see some of the subtleties, angles, and stuff like that. Um, it's always, it's, it's not that it's not interesting, but I, I feel that um, it's much harder to discuss and, and not necessarily as uh, enriching as other perhaps more abstract discuss this discussion, but still nonetheless, you know, more universal, on a more universal subject, I think, could be. Uh, I think those could be more useful. And that's why I'm hoping to discuss this today. Uh, the other reason, um, second, the, the second reason for uh, focusing on that is that I hope to, in many ways, act as a single booster. Uh, you know, when I wanna, the reason why I wanna speak about Daito culture and history is because they're very uh, enriching to me, and I believe they can be enriching to other people that uh, have certain interests and inclinations. And so putting that content uh, out there hopefully is going to serve as a good um, starting point for individuals who might uh, have an interest uh, in the in martial arts in a broader sense, but hopefully also at some point in Daito Ryu culture in, 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 in more specifically. Uh, so I hope you will enjoy the series. Uh, if you have any questions ahead of time, if you go see, for instance, the six principles on training on Koryo.com and you have questions regarding that content that you would like to send my way, please feel free to put those questions and comments down in the comments. I will uh, take that into account when crafting the each videos of the series. Uh, and uh, until next time, thank you for your time.